He will overcome. Look at this. He's God of mercy. Let's look at the mercy of God. Just one, in Exodus 23, or Exodus chapter 2, verse 23 to 25, it says, During the last period, or the long period, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites groaned in their slavery and cried out, and their cry for help because of their slavery went up to God. Do we see this now? God heard their groaning, and he remembered his covenant with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers. So God looked on the Israelites and was concerned about them. Listen to me. The first thing I want to know here is this. Your God is merciful. <laughs> I say your God is merciful. <laughs> Listen to me. I told you earlier on that everything the devil does, that God permits the devil to do in the life of a believer, God permits it because those things will bring you to his purpose. God allowed Pharaoh to oppress Israel. Don't let's talk about why. Today, maybe tomorrow, we'll talk about why things like that happen. Until God heard the groaning, the crying of Israel. There are some of us, our eyes are so dry before God. But we cry before basketball. Your team lose and you cry. You worship God, your face is dry. You never cry, you see. <laughs> you pray, you never cry, you see. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what happens around you, when you come to God, you, you never cry. It's all, you know. But when you lose your, your, your basketball, you cry. In England, when they lose football, they cry. <laughs> so they are four. God has to do something to make them cry to him. God did not create tears in our eyes so that we can cry for something else because he told us not to cry when we are sorrowing. We worship God with our cry. When things are not going right in accordance with the will of God, and we have a concern about God, the zeal in us for concern that God's will should be manifest, we bring God before God in weeping and crying. Do you know something? When you have situations in your life, why are you crying on people, crying to people? The people you are crying to, they also have problems. <laughs> Excuse me. Only you decide to cry over your issues, and they decided not to cry over their issues. This is a matter of decision. Your cry doesn't make your issue stronger than their issues. But there is something about God. Whenever you cry to him, he hears the cry. He hears the cry. He has, you know, the Bible says that they groan, they cry to God in Egypt. And God said to Moses, I have heard their cry. Not only that, he went further to tell Moses, he said, I am concerned about them. Your cry will cause your God to be concerned about you only when you cry to him alone. You know something? I think that crying over issue is the highest place a man can get to to express seriousness. That's the highest place. When you cry over something before God and say, God, how long will I wait for this? Help me now, Lord. In tears. It's different from Father, help me. <laughs> you see? Just help me, Lord. You know, help me. Help me, God. Help me. Uh huh? They're two different things. Uh huh. Whenever you cry, He hears your cry. Either you cry aloud or you shed tears within, he hears your cry. Your groaning will never be in vain. But God of mercy said, I, I heard their cry. Second thing is that I remembered my covenant. Your cry will make God remember his promises to you. And the thought thing there, he says, I remember the covenant I made with their forefathers. All right? The God of your father. And he says, I'm now concerned. 
Now, when God is concerned, look at what he now did. In chapter 3, that's chapter, chapter 3, verse 7. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. And I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them. The Lord will come by himself to rescue you. Our God is a man of war. He will come down and he will want to rescue you. Don't be afraid of battle. I'm going to end tonight with the prophetic word God gave me for you. God told me, tell my people, who do they think I am? I am the almighty, the man of war. How can a man of war fight when there is no war? That is the reason why he will allow battles to come. So that he can fight. When you get home, go read the book of Second Chronicles chapter 20. Listen to me. Your God will be concerned about you tonight. I say your God will be concerned about you tonight. It says, I have now come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the, Hit, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Excuse me, somebody. It doesn't matter who occupies your destiny place. When God comes to fight, they will take on their heels. They will take on their heels. Each of these nations that God mentioned, they were more than Israel. And yet, Israel took it over. Can't you see what is happening right now? I was listening to the news this week, and I looked at the map of Israel, so tiny, and I looked at the map of all those who are their enemies. <laughs> so huge. So huge. And I say, oh my God, as it was in the Bible, it is now. What God always did in the Bible time is that if the enemies of Israel are so many, God confused their language and they start killing themselves, they start fighting themselves. So they won't have time to think about Israel. If they think about Israel today, they start killing themselves tomorrow, they start fighting and fight all over the whole place. When you read the book of Second Chronicles, you will see who was fighting. It was God who went to the midst of the camp and then he beat this and hit that. And the other one said, why did you hit me? And they hit him back. <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> I read it, I loved, I loved, I loved. Listen to me. How can people who have one common enemy leave that enemy and begin to kill themselves? Is it an act of common sense? <laughs> but it's happening in your lifetime. Exactly what happened in Second Chronicles. If you look at in 2 Chronicles, the Bible says, and God went to fight. Your God will fight your battle. He will fight your battle. He's the God of mercy. He comes to rescue. Tomorrow we'll look at this. Our God is a mighty warrior. But Lord told me to tell you this today. Don't be afraid of anything. Either what, is, what has happened in your life, what has happened in your church, in your ministry, in your family, as long as you are born again, there is a God observing everything. If those things happening with you will defeat the purposes of God for you, God will stop those things. He will stop those things. How many things have happened in your life, in years past, problems, and you cannot tell how they were solved? I have many. I didn't know how they, they left, and I didn't know when they even departed from me. I just knew that I woke up sometime and those things are no more. Someone just came to me this week before I came. He said, Daddy, he said, I have a testimony. He said, I, 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 I mean, I can't understand. I can't understand. I never applied to this company, and they called me for a job. He said, I'm walking there now. <laughs> he said, I can't understand. I can't understand. What happened to him? 
He came to me just uh, about two months ago, and he said that I'm fed up of my life. I said, what is the meaning? Why did you fed up? <laughs> Why are you fed up? Jobless. I can't find a job. Okay, you can't find a job. I said, is that all? He said, yes. I said, okay, you'll get one this month. He said, is that all? <laughs> I said, that's all. <laughs> Except if you want to add something to it. <laughs> Few days after I spoke, a letter came in. Would you like to attend this interview? He went, got a job. He said, I know I never applied there. <laughs> he said, I know I never applied there. When the Lord brought body captives to Zion, what happened? We were like men who dream. Our God is almighty. He is the God of covenant. He will remember his covenant with our fathers. Not only that. He's the God of mercy. He will listen to our cry. He's the God that will rescue us. He is I am that I am. Now for you, take it home. This is what the Lord has said. Let's stand up together. And I will speak these words into your lives. And after I've spoken it, I will give you the scriptures where I came from. Believe what I tell you. If you have been struggling, understand there is a God who saw it. Nothing that you and I have gone through outside his knowledge. And you have many questions in your heart. I did also at some time. But I've come to a time now that he's taught me lessons through many problems. That I recognize that whenever I have problems, I recognize that they are part of the delicacies. It has to be. Because he is the beginning, he is the end, and you and I is in the middle, is what the Lord has said. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Now listen, all who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them any longer. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord, your God. For I am the Lord, your God. Not because you are something. These things will happen to you not because somebody made you something. It will happen to you because the season that we are, he is the Lord our God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Somebody say amen. amen. Do not be afraid, O warm Jacob. O little Israel, for I myself will help you, says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He says, see, I will make you into a treasure sledge, new and sharp, with many teeth. You will stretch the mountains and crush them. Somebody say amen. amen. As you leave this place today, the things I'm reading to you by God will begin to manifest in your life. It says, you will tread the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to shaft. You will winnow them. The wind will pick them up and the gale will blow them away. But you will rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. Listen to this. The poor and the needy search for water. But there is none. Their tongue are parched with thirst. He's talking about those of you who are jobless or your business has gone down the drain. This is what he's saying. In this season, but I, the Lord, will answer them, says the Lord. The Lord your God will answer you in this month of November. Before November will come to an end, God will answer you. 
He says, I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. The Lord your God will not forsake you. Listen to what God will do to you. He says, I will make rivers flow on barren heights. I say that rivers will flow on your barren heights. And springs within your valleys. The Lord will turn your desert into pools of water. And the past ground into springs. That is opportunities coming your way now. Opportunities coming your way now. Not by the handmaid of man, but what God has done himself. It says that we put in the desert the cedar and the acacia, the myrtle and the olives. I will set pines in your wasteland, says the Lord, the fir and the cypress all together. Why will God do this? <clears throat> One more time, your mouth shall be filled with praise. I say one more time, you will sing the praise of your God. One more time, your enemies will sing the praise of your God. One more time, people will sing the praise of your God. Those who have known you before will know you again. And they will say, see what God has done. The very mouth of God has spoken it. It says, so that people may see and may know may consider and may understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. That the Holy One of Israel has created it. Lift up your voice and give Him praise. Lift up your voice and worship Him. Give Him praise forever and ever. Give Him praise. It's over. It's over. Lift your voice up and worship Him. Lift your voice up and Lift your voice up and worship Him. Lift up your voice and praise him. Make it an abortion that are the carrier of the massa. Provision, provision, provision. Recall the bond here in this month of November. A new beginning has come. Carry the abortion that are the massa. A new victory you receive. Run the abortion, carry the massa. The Lord your God, the Lord your God will strengthen you. He will help and uphold you with his righteous right hand. You will search for your enemies, you will find them no more. The Lord will fight the battle for you. Oh, Lord, we exalt you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Begin to thank God, He is the Almighty. Begin to thank God. He is the Almighty. He is the God of your fathers. He is the God of mercy. The mighty man of war. The I am that I am. In the Nanasha Kataborodoi. Nanasha Kobarimani the Bodhi on the side. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Ricare de bori male de boshanda radi ari aramatai. Oh yes, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, our God. Hey, Lord God. Thank you, Father God. My Lord. Break loose, O oh God. Let the heavens rain down. Hey, my God. Oh, my God. Let healing flow, Lord. Let healing flow, Lord. Every chain be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Reke teke 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 te la 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 la. Braka palege breke bolo lo lo. Let bondage be broken, be broken in the name of Jesus. Every guilt I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of sonship be moving, stirred up in the seas of God. Yena la shakta la bo bo bro di ba de bo bi la la we worship you, Lord God. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. 
We worship you, Lord. Hey, Lord Jesus. Hey, Lord Jesus. Hey, Lord Jesus. Rakata kuribale krete kele broko boshi prala maradi kazada iya. Some of you have been seeking God for open vision. You receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ability to see. Ability to see. Everyone that is seeking your body, put your hand where it hurts you. He is here. He took our infirmities. So infirmity, you are gone in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every organ of human beings that have been afflicted, I apply to heaven for replacement. Receive a new heart. Receive a new blood. Every part of you, of human organs that have been afflicted, Rikatarodobostaria. Receive brand new ribs. Amen. And the pain on your left side of your rib at the back is gone in the name of Jesus. Sickness is a reproductive organ. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every form of lump or cyst from your roots. The Bible says every tree that God did not plant will be uprooted. Jesus says so. Every planting in your body that is not from God, I command them to be put out from their roots in the name of Jesus Christ. The trees planted in your life from the enemy, I command them to be put out in the name of Jesus. Trees planted in your home, in your family, in your business, by the devil, be pulled out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command new planting from heaven by the angels of the Most High. Every chain of the enemy, every fetters, you are broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command liberty into your body as liberty into your mind. Labor into your spirit. Be fruitful in the name of the Lord of hosts. Every form of barrenness. I command the Bible said, No, it shall be barren, no, it shall be barren, no, it shall be barren. You are turned to fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we bless you. I don't know whether choir you know this song. It says, I'm sure you should know it. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Let's sing it together. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. You are getting into it. Is angelic music. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Again. Praise 
that song for five minutes, something's going to happen over you. Praise Him. Sing it with your spirit. Worship you, Lord Jesus. Your gates are stand up on day and night. Rabala de ribale de boshaparara. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Eh, malekeri malere keri malere diere matokuri alikata. Thank you, Father God. 
worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hey, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. worship him let's worship him we're in the presence of the living God let's worship him let's worship him let's worship him as we bless him and worship him he's making people whole as we worship him as we magnify him as we adore him he is making people whole don't worship him for your neighbor. Worship him for yourself. God is doing a mighty work in the midst of us. As we worship him. That's what we're here for. That's why he have gathered us. That's why he have gathered us. And he's doing things that only God can do. Where man have failed us, where our plans have failed us, he is showing himself mighty in the midst of us. He is the almighty. Mighty is our God. Let's worship him. Open up your mouth. Open up your heart. Open up your mouth. And worship him. And as we worship and praise him, he's healing our bodies. He's correcting our thinking. He's breaking the strongholds over our minds and our thought process. As, he, as we worship him, he will give us a new plan of action. He will give instruction that the devil can't overthrow them. Worship the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. David said, I sought the Lord. He heard my cry and delivered me from all my fears. I sense there's still something God want to do in the midst of us. I'm telling you, I sense something that still God want to do in the midst of us. And if we can just get out of ourselves. Get, get out of being man conscious, people conscious, who's around me conscious, and begin to worship him, and to bless him, and to exalt him. He can do something in this night that changes our life, our church, our ministries, our relationship, our families, our finances, our health, in a moment, in a moment. And that presence is on us right now. That type of presence is here. Jesus is in the midst of us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Some of us need miracles. Some of us need to see God do miracles and circumstances. 
I heard the apostle talk about crying out to God. There, there's a genuine heart cry that heaven will hear tonight. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Kerabasaya. Kondelabasia. Kringelabasia. Kondelabasaya. Thank you, Father. 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 Pastors, our church will never be the same after this. Our churches will never be the same. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Jesus. Somebody need to pray in the Holy Ghost for a moment. Come on, let's pray in the Holy Ghost for a moment. God is releasing things. Angels are being dispatched on our behalf in here. The angelic host is being dispatched. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Let us not get weary and well doing. God can do in a moment what takes somebody a lifetime trying to do by himself. <laughs> and this is the day the Lord has made for us. Capture this moment. Seize this moment. Lay hold of what God has delivered unto us. Yes, Lord. Brothers and sisters, this is not lecture tonight. God has sent a messenger among us. God has sent a messenger among us with a message. And we receive it tonight. <laughs> the devil is mad. We receive it tonight. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Some of you need to be up here at this altar. Some of you need to be up at this altar tonight thanking God and blessing him and crying out to him. Come on. Humble yourself before the mighty God. Some of you know you need to be right up here on this altar with your hands stretched out, with your mouth wide open, crying out to God, thanking Him for a way to escape, thanking Him for your deliverance, thanking Him for your freedom, standing in the gap for somebody else, and seeing the victory one up here. A messenger sent from God have come in our midst. The, 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 God, the God who is the man of war is fighting on our behalf. 
this battle is no longer our battle. The battle now is the Lord, and he is fighting for us. Therefore, we're going to praise him in advance. We're going to sing in advance. We're going to shout in advance. We're going to rejoice in advance. I'm telling you, I know it's done. You can put the period. You can put the period behind some of the things that people came in here tonight with. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. The victory has been won. The victory has been won. Glory to God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus restoration is taking place restoration God is restoring tonight God is God, God is cleansing our hearts tonight of all fear and guilt and condemnation and shame God is doing it thank you Lord Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord be magnified. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. You reign. Oh God. Oh God. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Father. We bless you, we bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Let there be an indelible mark upon every man and woman on their knees on this altar, God, in Jesus' name. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Let begin to take place what, what is with man impossible, what, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. <laughs> he told us who he was tonight in this place. And I heard the man of God say it happened as quick as you believe it and receive it. Just receive it. Just believe it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Father. 
The Bible says the fear of man is a snare unto you. We got to get at the place we don't care what people think no more when we're trying to receive from heaven. We try to receive from God. You don't care what your neighbor think. Because the fear of man is a snare. Yes, Lord. I told a boss in the back, I said, you flew across the ocean for nine hours. We ain't in a hurry. <laughs> we will wait on the Lord. And I pray that he don't rush not one session so that he deliver to us everything God said to us. Pastors, I'm telling you, our, our ministries will never be the same. I'm telling you. And when I say that, that means your ministry begins with you. When you ain't the same no more, the church automatically change. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God is good, isn't he? Can we give him a shout for about 60 seconds? Come on, don't run out of breath. Don't run out of breath either. Give it to him for about 60 seconds. Non-stop. Come on, non-stop. Shout unto God. With the voice of triumph. Come on, shout unto God! Shout unto God! Come on, give it up! Hey! Hey, Jesus! 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 <laughs> hey! 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 Yes, Lord! Somebody shout hallelujah in Come on, shout hallelujah. My, 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 my. Yes, Lord. <laughs> you know something that broke loose in here. Why are you acting so dignified? You know something that broke loose in this place. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, I'm going to mess you up. Let's give them 60 seconds one more time. Non stop praise. Praise God. Let's do it. Hey!
The Lord is turning things around in here for people. The Lord is turning things around in here. He's turning things around. Glory to God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey. My, 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 my. Yes. Can you sing this song? Yes. I got a feeling everything gonna be all right. I got a feeling everything Pastors, apostles will lay hands and minister to you as the Holy Ghost have given them unction to do so. Amen. Pastors. Can I say, pastors. Some, can I say something to you? Yes. Come over, pastors. Let me say this to you. Yes, please. Unction. When God gives an unction, he sends his ministers out to impact the unction. And Paul said, I long to come to you that I may lay hands on you. Impact, that I may impact in you spiritual gifts. I see when I was ministering with you, though my, my thought is that tomorrow 
when we have the pastors to we don't really have all the time for ourselves. I saw some who have been wondering in their mind about open vision. How does it look like? You hear God in your spirit, of course. But about Acts chapter 9. Or when we talk about chapter 8, what happened to Philip, to, to Stephen? From earth, he saw heaven. Same thing happened to Isaiah. From earth, he saw heaven. How does it look like? I want to lay hands on you for sight. Some of you also have seen symbols, but you didn't understand. I want to lay hands on you that when the Lord takes you to the realm of the spirit and you see, you can engage. You can ask from the angel showing you the, the vision, what does this mean? And the angel can say to you that for these that you have seen, such and such and such will happen at this time. What this means is this, and what this means is this. I want to anoint you tonight. Before to, some of you have the encounters. Before you come back tomorrow morning, you begin to have encounters of this. I go on King. We give you the glory and honor and praise. It makes its messengers. As wind. But his servants it makes flames of fire. Are these not your flames of fire that you carved out from the rock? According to the eternal order of the Father, flesh gives birth to flesh and spirit gives birth to spirit. Lord, I anoint your servants that they may operate with the sight of the Spirit. The eyes that knows no distance. The sight that has no limit. The ability that transcends the natural, that the spiritual will give birth to the natural to cause the course of the natural or direct the course of the natural to the fulfillment of what has been settled in the spiritual. The eyes God has given to eagle, from far away they will see the food. And no matter how small the food is, they will see. And Lord, have you not said, they that wait upon the Lord, their strength, they will mount on wing like eagle. In another word, they will on the wing of the spirit and soar. They will be able to see, no matter how distant it may be, sharp. So, Lord, give sight of the Spirit to these ones. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, read us so tall in my little skinny barandai. Break it up, Santa de Mori Maranda Rodebosai. Oh Lord, I ask for easy ministry as well. Piranda de Malebronda Sotorai. Riquetele de Bosata. Rata Broco Tore Lendre Bosicrende. Decay. Let it burn like fire within them, oh God, and bring sign and vision. Rapale redo se keri andori le donde. Ripa kale ritole mo si prale mo rimando sa. Ira no so ria la patoria. De che ria la mo basata randoi. Repa katalenda. Ability to see to the future and understand the cause of the spirit. Teri mo lo ronde sa riando sa. Bololo shakta. Breke telelele le mo santere de borimarande. Ability to see into the future, 
Receive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Kariyale bashala marana sabra ne boa. Eh, ti kariyale bashata. Rede boshi kandele le boshi. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Birele boso tere bosha. See in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mare ketale re bosha tamu malere dis. A new sight receive, mingle with knowledge. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shakto Kopra Kate Lingra Bosekidi de Mosanta. Thank you, Lord. We receive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this impartation. Thank you for this impartation, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We receive this grace, Lord. We receive this grace tonight. Thank you, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 My God. My God. What a presence of God that's up here with us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Pastors, ministers, you may go back to your seat as the Lord continue to minister to you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pa Pastor Robin, what is the schedule for tomorrow? The time, if you're coming, give it to us. And also, of course, you know, with every conference or meeting, there's always a budget. We want to give you an opportunity. That's what it is, an opportunity to give in this conference tonight in Jesus' name. The officers will make sure you get an offering envelope. And please be generous as you sow your seeds or your gift of support. It always brings the blessings of God. Amen. God bless you. Tomorrow morning, starting at 9 o'clock, the apostle will be ministering to pastors, ministers, and anybody that's in leadership from 9 until 12. And that will be next door in our gymnasium building. And then tomorrow evening, we'll be back here again. The doors will open up at 6. In accessory prayer starting at 6.30, praise and worship at 7. Thank you. Did y'all get that schedule? All right, good. All right. All right, let us receive our offering this evening. Amen. And then after that, we're going to dismiss you. All right. 
God bless you, brothers. This is not a rush to get the offering out the way. It's an opportunity to get prosperous and blessed in a greater level. Amen. And so we want to give you that opportunity. Once you prepare your offering envelope, just come and sow it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's do so. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. I invite you to stand. Hallelujah. Come on, lift that offering up and just thank God right now for an opportunity to sow. Really, let's thank him. Thank you, Father. Bless him good tonight. Amen. Lord, we thank you that you cause all grace to abound toward us. We have all sufficiency in all things that we are bound to every good work. We give you praise, glory, and honor because of the law of the kingdom seed time and harvest we will always have we will never be without and the church shall say god bless you as you come sow your seed and expect god's greater blessings in jesus name where's robin at tell the coming right quick Thank you so much for your generosity and your obedience to the Lord to be a part of giving to support this meeting. Okay, all right. Okay, all right pastors and leaders ministers that i invited or that i gave you an invitation please take the time and go next door they have some uh food and so forth for you to fellowship with us and the apostle amen so if you can do so we'll love to have you do it apostle this is the young man i was talking about when i was on the platform this is him <laughs> amen All right, God bless you. Come on, stand. I'm going to dismiss you. I know some of you are ready for your chicken now. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> uh, amen. With uplifted hands, repeat after me. Let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength, my redeemer. Tell two or three people how much you love them. You are dismissed in Jesus' name. See you out in the morning, leaders and pastors.